know that you're a phoenix, so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you were sorry. You can call to the grave. I know you know that a lion is inside, sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you what up, Pride? It's your boy, Mark, back again with another reaction video. Today, we are getting into part two of my dang OT7 vocal line included reactions, and I guess like part four or five or something of my dang reactions, like all the different versions. Um, I love this song. I love this song a lot. If you haven't seen my reaction to the, I guess, part one of this video where I reacted to the uh, line distribution lyric video for maybe this performance for a performance i don't know what performance it was it might be this one i don't know how many times they performed this song but it was the audio from a performance of this ot7 version and it was really cool i really enjoyed it if you haven't seen that go check that out i got sent that link before so i reacted to that and then i got sent this link now i'm reacting to this so uh yeah hopefully this is a good performance if it's not then i guess send me another link and i'll react to that uh i just really really love this song and i want to see the performance of it i don't know if this performance will be able to go up on youtube if not hey thanks for subscribing to my patreon i really appreciate it love you guys you guys know that already if this can go up on youtube then thank you for clicking on the video i really appreciate it definitely make sure to subscribe i got a bunch of other bts videos on the channel as well and a bunch of stuff on patreon like this if this would have gotten blocked and so uh yeah i have to do like the double intro because i don't know what's going to happen until i go to upload it and youtube tells me yes or no on the video upload but regardless i'm excited so without further ado let's get into this and i'm seeing all of you guys on the other side Okay, so this seems like the audio from the video I just reacted to, which was the uh, line distribution one, based off Jimin, basically. Like the, the, the fact that he went low on the first line and then higher on the second. Like maybe he's performing it in the same way each time they perform this, or maybe this is just the exact performance that I react to the audio from before so that's cool uh because i actually really enjoyed that and uh now i get to put the, the visual component to it we, you know we got jim and doing doing the little sexy face the, the the eyes the eyes you know the eyes into the camera and we got jen having a great time i really like watching like hobie and jen in in this moment like how happy hobie is with jen doing his parts like he's you get what i'm saying like he's he's like being the best hype rep hype man right now and i think that that's dope also uh seeing all of the army bombs in the crowd just like really puts into perspective all the screams because when we're getting the screams like the audio that we're listening to i mean obviously you know that it's i don't know what forty thousand people there or whatever but it when you can visually put that aspect with it it's just like wow this is so many people you know which is dope like everybody in unison is having like this like dope experience i don't know if this performance was like a part of this tour like it was on the the set list for the entire tour so everybody knew that this was coming i don't know if this was just like a a one-off thing that like they did but everybody knew was coming i don't know if this was a one-off thing that they did but nobody knew was coming so everybody expected when they heard the intro that it was just going to be the rap line and then it wasn't just the rap line and then everybody's like what is going on you know i, I don't know i don't know if you have more context for this performance please let me know i am very curious but this does look like they are actually like on tour this doesn't look like you know what i'm talking about like how they did the um 
during COVID, they did the thing where they were like just like performing in the room. Now I heard the screams in the previous reaction. So I knew that there were some level of fans there, but I didn't know what venue it was at. You know, I've seen them performing in a variety of different locations. So I don't know. I've seen them perform like in a gym. I've seen them perform outdoors in a desert. I've seen them perform in like some like magical color changing room. I've seen them perform at award shows at in on tour like a bunch of different places they've performed so yeah I, I i didn't know where this was but this looks like they're on tour maybe like a world tour or some festival or something i don't know but uh more information please all the information that you have i want to know is what i'm saying just dump your brain in into my skull is what i'm saying Uh, okay, anyway, let's continue. Okay, so a couple things. One, I love Tay. I, I just, I, I like his, I like his energy, man. He just, uh, I, I like that we can really see him enjoying this. You know, like he, he's, he's. He not going through the motions, you feel me? Like he's actually having fun on stage and I can feel that, I can see that and I appreciate that. That makes it more fun for us, the viewers, you know? Um, also, these outfits are fire. Like I, I didn't want, I didn't want to say nothing earlier because I'd only seen a couple members, but now I've seen most of the, I think I've seen everybody but JK so far. I think at one point RM flashed on screen, right? But um, these outfits are fire. Tay's outfit right here is especially fire. I also like um, Jimin's like long. I don't know what that what what that was. It wasn't like a robe like what Jin had on, but it was like a long kind of like garment. I don't know what to call it, but it it looked cool. But yeah, Tay's outfit right here is, is, is that's peak. That's peak. You feel me? It's suave. It's cool. But it's not like excessive like you know he not like in a full like tuxedo that's that's a lot for me that in my opinion that's a lot you know uh, it's it's cool when when people dress up or whatever but this like it's like a perfect threading of the needle here between suave and cool but not like too much you feel me um so yeah but all all the outfits are are cool i really like when their outfits are like coordinated you know if it, it feels more like a team than team as in like a sports team where like you don't have the exact same uniform on but like you know i could tell y'all go together you feel me um i like when they do that in these in their performances and in their videos where the outfits aren't just like seven people wearing things you know it's like seven people coordinated i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense up here okay so Anyway, we're going to continue. Um, I'm enjoying this. I said a lot of stuff in the last video, and I don't want to like repeat the stuff I said in the last video. So again, if you haven't watched the last video, go watch the last video. I said a bunch of stuff there. The video is like 
I don't know, 20 minutes long or something. It's not 20 minutes long. It might be like 15 minutes long. That's 15 minutes of stuff that I said. Not all of that is me, obviously. But that's 15 minutes of stuff that I said that I'm not repeating here. So if you're like, how how could he not comment on X, Y, and Z? That's his pro I probably did already. You should go check that video out uh, because I don't want to waste everyone else's time who did see that video by saying the same stuff again. That That would be... That wouldn't be great, right? No. So, okay. All right. So, let's continue. <laughs> that that one was a little extra. I'm not gonna lie. I, I I will admit that. Even even I can say that was that was that was a little much. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. The song's almost about to end, and I just paused. Yes, because I got some more stuff to say. I need to say it now, because I know most of y'all don't watch the outros. So I got to put it here. If more of y'all watch the outros, I can just put it in the outro. But y'all ain't going to hear it. Y'all need to hear it. So I'm going to say it right here. Fire. What you hear that? That's the fire alarm, dog. It's fire, okay? Um, I love it. It's so smooth, so cool, so easy. All the stuff I said about his rap voice and uh his rap skills, rap ability, everything in the last video, I still mean all of that. It was just like really cool to see it, you know, and it to to look so effortless and so chill. That was really interesting. What else? Uh, this, for whatever reason, when I saw JK, his outfit made me think of his outfit in whatever Airplane Part 2 performance I reacted to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then go, go watch that video and see the performance that I was reacting to. That just, that just, my brain, when I saw him, I was like, this is his, this is his outfit from that performance. So maybe this is the same show or, um, same tour as, as that one. I don't know, but that's just where my brain went. So I'm putting that out there. Another thing I wanted to say, um, RM and him, like there facing each other when they were rapping. I thought that was really cool. Uh, Jin and Hobie did that earlier as well. Tay and Suga didn't really do that in their section. Although I wish they would have, because I feel like that, those are like really cool um, fan moments as far as like pictures and things. But not that there aren't pictures of any of the, the individual members with another individual member, but you get what I'm saying. As far as like this particular performance, this particular song, having a picture of, I mean, like the thumbnail on this, when I went to go like, you know, grab the video was literally um, RM and JK there in that moment. Those are like really cool pictures. And so, um, yeah, I just, I thought that was like, like when I saw that, I was like, that's a cool ass moment, you know? And so I wish that there was like a, a Tay Sugar moment. And there might be from like a different perspective or a different video or a different performance, like a similar moment like that. But I just wanted to to say that. I thought that that was really cool and that I noticed that. And um, yeah, this song is fire. Fire. Love it. I don't care who's performing it. It's amazing every time. It's going to hit every time, okay? It's like... I ain't never heard anybody have a bad batch of crack where they was just like, you know what? This batch of crack... It's, it's not that addictive, you know? The, the last one, amazing. This one, not so much. I think I'm just gonna, you know, go eat an apple. No, 
No, this is wow. That's a crazy analogy. Um, yeah. The point is, the point, <laughs> ah, that was insane. Um, anyway, the, the point is that the song is great. It sounds good every time. Performance, studio, seven members, three members. Don't matter. It's great. Okay, it's it's a great song, top to bottom. It's amazing. So I, so I just, <laughs> ah, oh man, <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Uh, are you not entertained? That was, that was, ah, uh, man, I just like, I just, you know, if it's funny in my head, it's not going to stay in my head for that long is what I'm saying. And that was funny in my head. And then I said it. And like, as the words came out of my mouth, it's like, you probably you probably shouldn't say that. But I did anyway, because I'm me. This is my channel. I can do what I want. Shut up. So, um, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm just going to play again because I, I don't have anything to follow that up. That was just, uh, Okay, so uh, yeah, it was great. I liked I liked seeing it in, in visual form. I'm actually glad that I broke it up into two separate videos. Uh, not intentionally, but that's just what happened because I really got to like think about and analyze all of the decisions that were made as far as like line distribution and all that stuff in that video. And then in this video, I could just party. You know, it was, it was just a good time. I just enjoyed watching them perform. I really, really like the energy from live performances from the crowd that you get. It's that's the thing that a lot of people often don't talk about who aren't performers. A lot of times people are so focused on the performers themselves that they also miss that like it's dope to like really enjoy something with a bunch of other people who are really enjoying it. And so even though I'm not there, I this is the next best thing. I have really great headphones and I can like just be immersed in that environment and it feels like I'm amongst, you know, 40,000 other people and we're all just like having the time of our lives dancing to this really awesome song, to these really awesome artists. And so that's like a, a really dope aspect of uh, reacting to performances. And then of course you get the actual performance itself and all the benefits that come with that. And so um, it was really cool. It was really hard to make sure that I didn't say the same stuff in a second video that I said in the last video, but hopefully you guys still found this uh, entertaining, engaging, interesting. And if not, you got to watch the, the performance again. So like, you, you can't really complain. But um, if you thought it sucked that much, you probably would have clicked off by now and are not seeing this. So thank you for watching the outro. If this is on YouTube, if this is on Patreon, doesn't matter. I really appreciate you so much for just being here and uh, watching this with me. Definitely make sure to subscribe if this is on YouTube. Don't unsubscribe if this is on Patreon. Wherever this is, I hope you stick around and hopefully I'll be seeing you next time. So you guys have a great day. Peace. Cause you know that you're a phoenix so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you been scarred, but you a czar. You can call it to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside.